Happy good morning and welcome back to Hope Scope. Today on your number one source for all things fit fashion, my co-host Leo and I are gonna be talking all things off-white. A high-end industrial inspired streetwear brand that I honestly had no idea really even existed until a couple months ago. <laughs> I found out about it from seeing like Jeffree Star and pop stars and rappers and other celebrities wearing this. Turns out it's actually a fairly new brand that's only been around since like 2013. What is the hype about this off-white brand? Why are all of these cool people wearing it? Other than the fact that they make super trendy face masks that are currently being sold at four times their original price. But the whole reason I'm really here is because Off-White has active wear. More specifically, leggings. <laughs> so as we dive into this brand today, let me know if you think that Off-White is one of the most brilliant designer labels of our generation or if it's just super overrated. <laughs> I feel like the mirror back there is exposing my dirty life. Oh well. About two weeks ago when we were walking around Vegas, I happened to see the most beautiful store. And I realized the extent of what this brand was. It wasn't just hoodies. Good news, I see leggings. And I thought to myself, oh, I'll come back some other time. Or I'll visit another city with one of their stores. Nay, nay. Turns out that store in Vegas is the only one on this whole half of the country. <laughs> so we did what any sane person would do and we booked a last minute trip to Las Vegas. Cause why not? just in case the airlines shut down soon. Um, hi, quick disclaimer. This video was filmed a week or so ago before the guidelines about travel restrictions and social distancing was announced. All of our future travel plans are currently suspended, but I wanted to share this footage anyway because it's important to say things are not that bad. All the precautions we are taking are to limit the effects of this virus as much as possible. You can go to cdc.gov for accurate information. In case you were wondering, no, our flight was not cheap. It was like $400 a person still. Our flights were completely full and nobody was really panicking. I just wanted to let you know, we made it from our apartment to parking, into the airport, through security. Now we're walking to our gate in 14 minutes. <laughs> and people wanna know why I wanted to live downtown. It was kinda crazy doing a day trip like that. I have never done that. Like showed up to the airport without luggage. I literally had my game changer bag, some chapstick, my little wallet guy, glasses, AirPods and a protein bar. Yes, these are literally the best tasting protein bar in the entire world. And trust me, I've had a lot of protein bars, but I buy these ones in bulk. I'll link them down below if you wanna try them. We boarded our flight and I had a happy little hour of watching the dramatic season finale of The Bachelor. Raise your hand if you're not Team Barb. And just like that, we were in Las Vegas. Last time we were in Vegas, I was running so fast up this escalator to catch a flight and I fell in front of a lot of people. Not a very sunny day in Vegas. We arrived at one of our favorite hotels and the location of the off-white store, The Win. It's located in a new little shopping wing that they just built like last year. It's like a mix of designer stores and then also some like really cool LA type surfer streetwear brands. And oh my gosh, the Soul Cycle. Look at this Soul Cycle. I've never even been to Soul Cycle, but this place is making me wanna. I have activewear. It's like a little secret store in there. Anyway, this off white store is huge. Bad news is it wasn't open yet. Good news is that gave me time to eat an eggs Benedict and also go play with this cool spinny off white sign that was just in the middle of the mall. Guys, I can buy this whole sign. Pressing upon request. Let's put it in our house. <laughs> After that, we were in business. There it is. Are you excited? Yeah. Are you gonna get some Nikes? Yeah, probably. Some off-white Nikes? Maybe. bit of history on Off-White. It is an Italian brand founded by American fashion designer Virgil Abloh, who is also the artistic director of the Louis Vuitton men's collection. Fancy. He graduated with an engineering degree and right after that started working with Kanye West to design his merchandise and album covers while he was getting his master's degree in architecture. Another fun fact, Abloh says that it takes him only like 10 minutes to think of most of his designs. I mean, uh... I get it. <laughs> one other thing about this brand is when you think of a lot of designer brands, they have like their one logo that when you see it, you know it's that brand. But Off-White has like a bunch of different signatures. Of course they have their like Off-White. But another big thing that they do is the everything in quotes. It's supposed to be like ironic. They also have their arrows, which is probably the most recognizable. And then also the diagonals. Okay, the pricing on this stuff. A lot of it is consistent with designer pricing. I mean, like $1,200 hoodies. Okay, wait, I have a fun question for you. What's the most expensive thing in the store? 2,700. 27? Yeah. Okay. 2,700. That has the arrows in the back of it. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, that's way cool. This one's 31. Oh yeah. So this one, one has be a beat. A... And the least expensive. Least expensive has to be women's socks. All right, least expensive thing, yeah. socks. 
I'm gonna do a sock giveaway. Okay, listen. You guys know that I love to do giveaways every single week. I just really love giving back to you guys that are subscribed and that are super engaged, always leaving me really nice comments. I wish that I could buy every single one of you a $1,200 hoodie. I'm not quite there yet. <laughs> but I did want to pick up a little something for you guys when I was at the off-white store. I'll pick you guys out some socks. <laughs> so I'm gonna pick a few of you that are subscribed from the comments below to send a pair of socks to in these cute little boxes. Like, are you kidding me? That is the fanciest thing I've ever seen. And also a sticker. <laughs> so comment below, let me know if you want the white, hot pink, black, and then I also have some men's in this super sick orange and blue. So these are a little bit bigger. And then also include some way to get hold of you, like your Instagram handle or something. Off-white does really cool collaborations. One of the more well-known ones being being Nike. That relationship blossomed in 2017 and has been a big success ever since. I think that they started collaborating on Jordans, but now they have like a whole active wear line. Leggings. Are you medium and um... Yeah, medium leggings, small top. The shopping dance? Yeah. Dang, this t-shirt is cool. Like not normally a style that I would go for, but I like it. It's like pink flames. Leggings are cool. Logo. No logo waistband. Okay, I like these ones a lot better. They also have the off-white, the, the Nike collab. They have this super cool drawstring. They have this like amazing performancey fabric. I don't know what that is, but it's fun. 160, that's not terrible. The waistband's a little big, but you know. Heck yes, you found the leggings in a small. These are coming home with me for sure. They have them in yellow too, but one of the girls said they are completely see-through. Like not see your underwear see-through, like see your everything see-through. Oh, see how see-through they they're are, They're pretty yeah. see-through. <laughs> well, they're too small anyway. Cool though. Ta-da! Okay, but how cute are these off-whites gonna look with like a white bodysuit? I'm actually really stoked about this purchase. I think these are so cool. Ooh, let's see if they're squat proof. Let me introduce you to the Shirometer. This little guy is what I use to test how squat proof leggings are, AKA we wanna make sure that when we bend over, you can't see right through them. All right, reading of the room, 1015. Stretch amount, 35. Okay, 3%. So they are 97% squat proof. That's pretty dang good. So this is one of their Nike collabs, but um, it's an extra small and too itty bitty and I can't get it on. Cool though. I like the back especially. Look at it. Just look at it. This wasn't here last time. Wow. That's beautiful. Oh, I'm gonna drop all this stuff. Dang, I didn't realize this one's like a dress. <laughs> these cool little slits on the side. Oh my goodness. So pretty. If I left without this sweatshirt, I don't think I could ever forgive myself. <laughs> How much is it? Oh gosh, do I want to know? Just uh, eleven hundred dollars. Yeah. Um. Spoiler alert. I got it. <laughs> okay. I love this. Has that like high cut on the hip? Pretty uh, open on the side. <laughs> and then the straps on the back. Oh, hi. You peeking at me? Yeah. What do you think of my shoes? Wow. Do you like them? Yeah. Look at just they're more unique than like anything else that's out there. You yeah. know what I mean? Because they kind of got the Jordan look, but they're leather and canvas, which is kind of nice. Makes it a little more comfy. Um, are they also seven hundred dollars? Um, no, they're only like six. Oh, perfect. <laughs> oh, gee. <laughs> okay, don't mind me still in swimsuit bottoms, <laughs> but I love oversized t-shirts. Beautiful logo. And the back. Oh my gosh, I love it. I don't know how I pulled off fitting into these jeans, but I did, and I'm very happy about it. <laughs> these are so cool. Like, I don't wear jeans. I would wear these jeans. <laughs> okay, this is so cute. Classy. And then it's cool because like on the inside of the mesh, it has the little off logo. Other than that, like, this is probably the simplest piece branding wise that I've seen. It has this mesh layer on top, and then this is like fuzzy, brushed on the inside. <laughs> this outfit right now. These shorts are kind of cool. There's no like shorts under them. They're just this mesh on the inside. I like the pattern, I like the drawstring, like the logo, but this style of shorts not my favorite. Leaders. Look at these jelly shoes. It's like my childhood and adulthood melding into one. Thanks Perry and Jonathan yeah, for all your no help. Worries. If Thank you guys you. ever come to Vegas, make sure to come check them out. They'll take care of you. And as fast as we got to Vegas, we were already on our way back to the airport. <laughs> Make sure to subscribe if you want to see where we're headed next. We're on a roll today. My final thoughts on this brand. Some of the pieces were like a little strange, a little too avant-garde out there for my liking, but a lot of it I felt like was very wearable compared to a lot of designers. I don't know. Let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Okay, Kobe. <laughs>
We'll see you guys in the next video. Say bye, YouTube!